There are several ways to go about extruding geometry in LightWave and I thought we could go ahead and take a look at Motion Path Extrude. It's a way that we can extrude geometry along a motion path saved out of layout. So I went ahead and created just this quick little flat star and I figured we could extrude it along a motion path. So let's hop over to Layout and create a motion path and I'm just going to grab this camera and uh, we'll just go to frame 20 move it forward, maybe we'll, we'll come up a little bit, uh, go to frame 40, come down, maybe over here, frame 50, move over here, and then frame 60, we'll come up and over a little bit. So our motion path is something like this. Okay, so I just need to save out the, the motion path. So I'm going to go to File, Save, Save Motion File, and let's just call this Cam uh, 001.mot. We'll save it out as a motion. Okay, then we'll hop back over to Modeler and move over to the Multiply tab and under Extend More we'll choose Motion Path Extrude. Let's pick that uh, motion file that we just created and we get the the options. Now we can decide what frame, say you had an animation that was, I don't know, 2,000 frames, but you only needed uh, a certain range of frames for that motion file. Well, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of all of it. So the first frame uh, is 1 and the last frame is 60. Now step, step allows you to decide how many segments along that extrude do you want. Well, if we had 3, well that would give us 20 segments because it's, um, you know, th uh, 60 divided by 3. If we wanted, um, say, well, 60 segments, well, we would use a step of 1. Uh, if we wanted 120 segments, well, we would use a step of 0.5. Let's, let's do 30 segments, so we'll do a step of 2 and hit OK. And we get our extrude here. Now, it looks like um, the, the motion path is a little too sharp uh, for this, so what I'm going to do is go back over to layout and kind of look at what's happening. Yeah, I can see it right here. So I'm going to come over to this frame and I'm going to kind of move it forward a little bit and maybe over a little bit. Just kind of adjust my my setup here and let's save that out. So I'm going to go to file, save, motion file go over to cam. I'm going to make 0, 0, 002. Then come back over to modeler. Zoom out so we can kind of see what's going on. Uh, multiply, motion path, extrude, pick the second one. We'll use the same setup and much better. So there you go. We're, we're taking a motion path out of uh, layout and using it to extrude geometry using the Motion Path Extrude tool.